Hello, Booktube. Hello, friends. Welcome to Lizzie Fay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth, and it's Friday, so it should be time for Friday Reads, but I got called in to work at my theme park job for this evening, and I've been out all day, and I'm just not going to have time to do a Friday Reads. But all the March Mystery Madness hosts were supposed to have our TBRs up by today, and I've been working up to that. I have done videos about my year in reading that's coming up, my 20 by 20 challenge, and all the stuff I'm doing for that, and I already told you about all the cozy mysteries that I'm currently reading. I also have a video that I made last year about all the mystery series I'm reading that are not cozy. So I will link that down below. But for today, this is just going to be my March Mystery Madness TBR Part 1, and I will tell you what I plan to read for each of the main March Mystery Madness prompts. And as you may know, I have started a March Mystery Madness bingo. That is just something I'm hosting here from my own channel. And I do have several of the cards left. So if you would like to participate and you want me to mail you a March Mystery Madness bingo card, I will certainly do so. If you need instructions for how to print your own out, then go to my bingo announcement and you will see how to do that. I am not able to share this electronically due to the terms of use for the website where I got this. So just check out the March Mystery Madness bingo announcement on my channel and you can get all the details for how you can get a card. So the main prompts for March Mystery Madness are Old Again, New, Borrowed, Blue, and then the bonus prompt is to read a book that features a wedding. So for old, I am going with the next book that I need to read in the Vintage Kitchen Mysteries by Victoria Hamilton. I have read book one, and book two is called Bold Over. I did check it out from the library, and it is lost in my sea of extra books here somewhere. So I hope to find that before it's due at the library. I'm going to be listening to it on audio. It's available on Hoopla. So that will be my old prompt because it's about vintage kitchen things. For my again, I'm going to listen to three books again on audio. They are the Jamie Quinn Mysteries by Barbara Van Kataraman. I have those on Audible and they're very short. So I hope to go ahead and listen to all three of those again and then possibly go ahead and purchase the fourth book and listen to it. If not in March, then sometime this year. For the new prompt, I am going to read an author that is new to me. This is the first book in the Kate Shackleton series by Francis Brody called Dying in the Wool, and I don't know anything about it. Jane Catherine on Books sent me another book from this series, and so I noticed that this first book is available on audio on Hoopla, and so I'm going to read this first one and then hopefully go ahead and continue on with the series at some point. For the borrowed prompt, this is going to be one of the books that I am hosting as a read-along here on my channel, and I have double borrowed this book. I have the print copy borrowed from the library and the CDs borrowed from the library also. This is Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. And for the prompt blue, I have Mr. Monk and the Blue Flu by Lee Goldberg, and this is book three in the Mr. Monk series, so not only does it have the word blue in the title, it's got blue on the cover, it's got a blue spine, so this book is perfect for this prompt. And then for the prompt to read a book featuring a wedding, I'm going to read the next book that I need to read in the Number One Ladies Detective Agency series. I think this is book 10. This is The Saturday Big Tent Wedding Party by Alexander McCall Smith. And I love the series and I can't wait to get to this one. So I'm gonna have lots of other books on my TBR. I'm still working out exactly what's gonna count for each prompt and I will probably change things around as the month goes on, but I will do a part two of my TBR and at least try to give you the titles of what I'm planning to read for all of the other bingo prompts, and I would like to do as many of the read-alongs from the other hosts as I can, especially if I can get them on audio. I will try my best to participate in those activities, and I want to incorporate all of those into the March Mystery Madness bingo, so be on the lookout for part two of my TBR, and if I don't get a, a weekend reads or a Friday reads video done then I'll just have to let you know what I read for February at the end of the month but if you are doing the bingo then I hope you have already started anything you are reading right now counts for the bingo and I don't even really care if it's mystery if there's some kind of mysterious element about it 
then just go ahead and count it and just have fun with it. That's all this is meant to do is to just give you an extra activity to motivate you if you like that sort of thing. So that is all for this video. I've got to get to work. I'm going to take my computer with me and try to get this edited in between shows so that I can post this later tonight. That's all for this video. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.